The cynical predatory bastard serpents at Electronic Arts are doing their E3 live stream, their EA Play live stream right now. It's going on as I record this. Uh, they just got done showing off Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. They just got done showing off this particular gameplay that we're looking at right now. And I immediately jumped on it to do a cynical reaction video for it because I know how much three of you like those. So here it is. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order alpha footage, so they say. And having watched it through already when it was broadcast live, I've got to say... They picked a questionable sequence of gameplay, unless this is representative of the entire experience, in which case, hmm, I can't say it's the most enthusiastic, bombastic bit of gameplay we'll be seeing, um, certainly throughout the week from many different games, and I hope this isn't fully representative of what's going on, because as you'll see, there's a lot of walking and climbing broken up with some brief gameplay, but we'll we'll see as we go along, won't we? There's old Cameron Monaghan, who is very, very good as Jerome in Gotham. Um, I'm actually on the last two episodes of Gotham now. I know I'm not supposed to like it. People tell me it's bad, but first of all, let's talk about Wally with legs. Uh, that is going to be a toy, isn't it? They're going to sell the shit out of merch for that thing. Wouldn't be surprised if they end up doing one of their like big collector's editions and that's in it. Maybe it'll make little noises, who knows? But that's that's just got merch written all over it, doesn't it? Lots of grappling hooks. Can't go wrong with those, can ya? Uh, so Respawn's making this, I should point that out. Um, you got wall running that they showed off earlier. If any studio is going to be good at wall running, it's going to be this studio. Uh, I do like that the droid broadcasts a hologram of the map. I'm a big fan of uh, user interfaces that are roped into the game. You know a studio that did that really well? Uh, Visceral. Uh, Visceral who did Dead Space, that series that Electronic Arts cancelled from that studio that Electronic Arts shut down. A studio that was working on a Star Wars game that Electronic Arts cancelled. Electronic Arts is a, a shit bastard. Let me just say that. They're, they're not, not a nice company, are they, really? Um, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you might have picked up an opinion or two on that. Um, it's a very unusual opinion. No one else on the internet thinks that EA is bad. <laughs> no one else on the internet at all. Anyway, how many min we're, we're a few minutes in now, and nothing's really happened. Like I said, they unless this is what the whole game's like, they didn't pick the best uh, a bit of footage. They didn't pick, pick the best sequence of gameplay to show. Uh, we got to see a little bit of force powers there, pushing something over. You know, the Jedi can do that. Uh, there's a whole series of um, books in the expanded Star Wars universe called Jedi's Pushing Things Over. And it talks about all the different Jedi what pulled stuff over. Swinging on a vine, can't go wrong with that. And now some actual, now this is pod racing. Got ourselves some actual combat here. Flipping the lightsaber around, doing that, that's that's some, like something a Sith would do. That was just mean. But it looked, it looked pretty cool. You know, you can do bullet time. I guess we could call it force time or blaster time. Although the blasters were the guns. You'd just call them laser bolts, wouldn't you? Just laser time. But we're back to, you know, back to the game. Let's, let's actually get back to the game. We're chasing the little... I forget what the Imperial versions of the R2 ones are called. But you can do that with it. Just just shove it in someone's face. Feel more sorry for the droid, if anything else. I didn't ask for that to happen. The droid wasn't getting involved. The droid wanted it out of the situation. It saw the Jedi and thought, right, time to book it. And then just got thrown into someone's face. Oh, well. So, that's what the combat looks like. And it looks fine. It doesn't look super exciting at this point. But now we have a guy like this, this one right here. At this point... I want to point out, I watched this on YouTube and the chat was scrolling from people watching it. M many people just typing Z, 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 Z. Oh, wait, no, now this is pod racing. Here I can see how the combat could actually look quite fun in more one-on-one -on -one situations, especially with a, a sort of a trooper like this. At some point, the AI messes up. So people were talking about that on Twitter. I didn't spot it at the time. Maybe I'll spot it now, unless I already missed it. It'll be even harder now that I'm running my mouth while I'm watching. But I can see how 
you know, these one-on-one -on -one more intimate dual type battles, they certainly look more engrossing than when you're just going up against a bunch of troopers. Ah, a lot of clear um, parallels we could draw between that fellow with the staff and TR-8R from uh, uh, The Force Awakens. I don't know why I couldn't remember the name of that film. Um, and I was kind of excited for that. I thought we'd that would be some sort of unique trooper, but later on in the demo we'll see another one in a less remarkable situation. Um, but, but back to walking. Doing a little bit of clambering through a narrow space that's very important to do for a Jedi. There's a whole series of books, actually, in the expanded universe. I don't know if you've heard of them. It's called uh, Jedis in Tight Spaces. And it's about all the Jedi that have crawled through. It's not actually, like, a metaphorical tight space. It's literal. It's just one of them's in a box, you know. Obi-Wan Kenobi got trapped behind a couch once. Um, engrossing series. Engrossing series of books. Back to some combat now. This is pod racing. We got flame troopers. They are troopers that have flamethrowers. There's a little bit of lore for you, a little bit of Star Wars lore. There's another one. There's more than one. That's also a, a something only true Star Wars nerds like myself who love all three of the films um, know. There are only three Star Wars films. Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and the holiday special they're the only ones because everyone knows the last jedi was brilliant um it's the best film in the franchise oh seriously it def definitely is it's it's the best one it's the best one because it's got lightsabers in it ah uh? so yeah back to more climbing and then like i said like this it's so stunted in terms of the action and it makes one worry because Anthem was that way as well. And I know Anthem was Bioware and this is Respawn. I've got way more faith in Respawn than I do in Bioware doing a game that's completely outside their wheelhouse. But I've got to admit, throughout watching this the whole time and now re-watching it the second time with you, I'm far from blown away. It looks like it's fine. Like, it doesn't look bad. Someone in the, that... Uh, the chat I was watching alongside the, the stream, um, someone there said it looks like Lego Star Wars with worse graphics. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's what well, it is. Um, but someone said that. A lot of people just typed Z, 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 Z a lot to indicate they were sleepy snoring. And some people just pressed F the whole time because of press F to pay respect. So anyway, we've got some big spiders now. And Star Wars Battlefront 2 had a whole bunch of spiders in its campaign where you were slashing at them with a lightsaber just to bring horrible memories of that game up. So these ones shoot webs at you. They did say that this is um, a player who is A, very skilled, and B, had um, some unlocks and stuff going on. I think they said unlocks and stuff were going on with it, with the, the character they'd already spent. A lot of the skill points that you see getting earned in this demo that they don't spend... That might, I saw someone on Twitter say that uh, that was their big takeaway, was they just wanted someone to um, spend the damn skill points. <sighs> well, that was that. That that was some spiders. There we go. Skill point acquired. What could you spend this on? We don't know. Better at lightsabers? That's probably a skill. I want two points in better at lightsabers. I want three points in pushing someone around a bit. And one in jump. Please. That's my that's my skill point distribution. What's yours? Why not leave a comment and like, share, and subscribe? Smash the like button. Please do. What's going on now? I really like Gotham. I'm sorry, I do. I I would go as far as to say with the Oh wait now, this is pod racing. Oh wait, no, this is QTE. That's what this is. Bloody hell. Those webs look like they are going to get right on my tits after less than five minutes dealing with them. Okay, that was pod racing. Anyway. I mean, it says something where I'm watching this demo that they just freshly unveiled to... To the excitement of Greg Miller, who's hosting the thing. Um, to Greg M Miller's rapturous applause and excitement. Um, but I'm... 
I'm still thinking about Gotham and I'm still probably going to bring Gotham up before this video's over. Because the thing about Gotham is, yes, the writing's melodramatic, but it's all in the casting and the fabulous costumes. Ca Cameron Monaghan, 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 Cameron is super great in it. The, the Bruce Wayne ain't brilliant, but you've got, um, what's his face playing Penguin? Excellent as Penguin. You've got what's his face playing Edward Nigma. Excellent as Edward Nigma. You've got what's her face playing uh, in in. Oh no, I, I can't give that bit away. If you do end up watching it, that'll be. Oh, at, at one point, one of the stormtroopers here said that they had the high ground. Do you get it? Like, oh, this is pod racing. Yeah, high ground. Like, I fucking hate it when people just throw in random Star Wars lines and think that's a cool reference. Can't stand it. Anyway, let's have a look at this combat. Actually, it's almost over again, isn't it? There's our forced time going on. Another bit of a throw. That was cute. That was cute. Nothing we haven't seen before, but it was cool. You know, slow down the, the blast and grab someone and put them in front of it. They said... I did catch a bit of the interview um, after the this demo stopped. They said that's freeform. Again, it's an EA conference. Well, live stream in this case. Who knows what the final game will actually be like, but they said that's all free form. You can do a lot with your enemies when you throw them about and fiddle about with the force, lots of different uh, uh, methods. At one point, Greg Miller said that, um, and was confirmed by the, the developers, that uh, no one playthrough will be the same. And I've got to confess, I don't believe that. Something tells me that in a combat situation like this, there ain't that much more you can do that would dramatically alter the experience. I think trying to upsell that is over-egging the pudding. But this is pod racing nonetheless. You see, again, like we, we've already seen the, the thrust and the, the pull and the thrust, so we're already seeing the same kind of stuff. They're not necessarily showing off uh, wildly dynamic gameplay here. But they are showing off that um, the dodging. There's some good dodging. You can dodge about. That didn't work out too well, did it? Get back on the ball, mate. Get on the ball. So we've already seen this fight earlier in the demo, so already the, the kind of luster of it's worn a little bit. Although they're doing far worse in that particular instance. And that's cool. Again, using the, uh, using the droid as part of the, the gameplay, the UI and the, the handling of everything, using it to heal as well. Um, Again, I think that that's going to be the star of this show, and that's where EA's going to make its bank. And if they hadn't already promised they're, you know, a more traditional, less microtransaction-y, bullshitty game, let's, you know, not believe everything they say about monetization. I'm sure they'll think of something. But if this was to be heavily monetized, you know damn well, skins for that droid, that's where they'd go with it. Customizing the droid on, on your shoulder, you make it different colors and stuff like that. That's where I would put my money on them expecting us to put our money. That was a good sentence I said, wasn't it? So it's one of them droids from Rogue One, isn't it? Uh, but we can't see them fight that. We can only see Cameron fight that in montage form. I forget the name of the character. I think Cameron Monaghan's playing uh, Humana Humana Humana. I think that's their name. And that's that. That's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I won't belabor the point. Uh, there you go. What do you think of that? It plays best on Xbox One. So, you best be warned. Don't play it anywhere else. Otherwise, you'll be getting the worst version. It'll look like Lego Star Wars, but worse. 